Breaking ball struck him out. First strikeout for Alvarez, second out of the inning. This is just not can trade this curveball and he spots it at a perfect spot. Throw, they got him picked off. One, three, six. One. I got called to the big leagues and ended up pitching in 60 games that year. Uh, led the team in earn run average the very next year, 1989, and uh, was named the Atlanta Braves most outstanding pitcher. You want to do on a road trip like that is go out and play the last place team and get beat by them. Off speed curveball, strike three call on the inside part of the play. And Alvarez records his second consecutive strike. I've been able to keep my body in decent shape now. And as I approach the, the 50 year old mark, I, I feel like I'm 35 still. Jose's attitude is, is, is different, I think, than most professional athletes. Uh, he, he takes it so serious, keeps himself in better shape than anybody I've ever seen. Uh. I've always enjoyed golf. From the time I was young, I, I had an uncle who was a golfer. He was a firefighter in Tampa, and, and he always played golf. And, and I'd get out there with my baseball glove and he'd hit five iron shots to me and I'd run down five iron shots and wedge shots. And the Golf Channel proudly presents the Celebrity Players Tour. We're in Durham, North Carolina for first round coverage of the Duke Children's Classic. And it's a picture perfect day here in the Research Triangle as it is known. Speaking of pictures, good to have your camera with all the celebrities on hand at the Crowsdale Country Club. Round one highlights thus far, Jose Alvarez, the former Atlanta Braves pitcher, second shot to the 16th. From right at 150 yards, hitting uphill to a front pin. Yeah, get on it. Boy, he yeah, is on it. it, good play. Hey, hey, hey. Golf has been a fair game in my opinion, I feel like it's, it's just there. I love the pressure. Jose Alvarez picks up a shot. He birdied 12. He is a two under along with Brian Kinchin. Rick Roden. I've played in some competitive events. Uh, I've pitched in front of 50,000 people. So the pressure doesn't get to me. I, I feel like the Champions Tour is something that, that I can succeed at, and I'm just hoping that I have that opportunity. Jose Alvarez birdied the 13th. He is a three under. And Scott Van Pelt has Johnny Bench. Thank you very much, Craig. And Johnny's taking off the headset today. We appreciate your time yesterday playing golf today. And you're getting, unfortunately, you're not the one putting the red number up just yet. It, you're watching it being done. What's uh, Alvarez got going for him today? Just solid ball striking. I mean, he, he's had two really good breaks. He, he made made a birdie out of the bunker on three. And then on 12 here, he hit a tree and looked like he's going to kick. If it kicks left, it goes out of bounds. It kicks right, and he knocks it up and makes birdie again. But he's striking it so good. And he's able to putt. I mean, the grain right now is so high and so strong. I mean, it's frustrated uh, Jan and I, but uh, he's had no problem. Just need, if you're going to make a mistake here, you need to make it to the left side and just try and hit it solid. There's a little water hazard about 10 yards short of the green. Go in the hole. That'll work. Just short of the hole, Alvarez, the man at the top of the leaderboard right now, looking for victory at the Duke Children's Classic when we come I back. feel like I have what it takes emotionally, physically. I feel like my game's there. That's why I've, I've brought in some folks that know a lot more about golf and about the swing and about uh, what it takes to be a good player that uh, I, I value their opinion. The PGA of America bestowed on him the highest award they give to a teacher of golf when they selected him as their National PGA Teacher of the Year. Golf Digest lists him as one of the 50 greatest teachers of golf, and Golf Magazine includes him on their list of the top 100 teachers in America. What I like about Jose and his golf, certainly was a great baseball pitcher, and on the Champions Tour, I feel like he'll be a standout player. He'll be an impact player. But what I like about him as a person is his character, the willingness to work, the difficult he knows how hard this game is and he's not afraid to make it happen. The million golf swings I look at every day, a lot of players have great swings, have great talent, but I think Jose has that one thing that a lot of the players lack. He really wants to be a player and he knows what it takes to get there. 
commitment, the desire, and having the time to work at this profession. This is a job. It looks like play out there, but this is a job, and he is committed to that. Uh, I, I believe that the things that are necessary for any great athlete are what's necessary for a, a great golfer. You've got to get out there and you've got to work. You've got to put yourself in that environment. You've got to get out there when the heat's on, when a three-foot putt means something, and you've got to go out there and succeed at that. He missed a very similar putt on the last hole. This one about a foot longer. Not this time. Good clutch putt for Jose Alvarez. I believe I have what it takes, and I've proven that in baseball. So my, my integrity, my character says I've got the desire, I've got the dedication, I've got the determination, and then most importantly, I have the discipline. But he has something that we see. He's very consistent, he understands what he's all about when he plays. He just goes and does that. That's what's going to make him a standout on the Champions Tour. I just want to be there when they hand him the trophy. And he will make $17,000. Not a bad week's work for a great pitcher like him. Very fine effort for Jose Alvarez. He certainly has to be pleased with his work.